there, this is going to be a quick demonstration on how to change the size of your stretched color ramps. Um, it's called a patch. What you do is go into, so the reason you might want to do this is um, A, to exaggerate this a little bit and give some space uh, for your labels on the stretched color ramp. Um, you may have differing values here and maybe you want to show that off. Maybe you want to, um, you know, indicate that there's um, you know, a bigger range of values here. So maybe you want this, you know, to be more stretched out. Um, first thing you'd want to do, of course, especially for elevation, is have units in here. Of course, this would all be edited. You'd get rid of high and low um, and round these numbers out. But this is really just to demonstrate how to, how to change the size of this. So go into the layer proper, or the legend properties. and it's in the Layout tab. The default patch, um, this is where you'd set that, so the width and the height, and if you just change this, and there's no magic number, um, let me move this out of the way, um, you can see that that just jacked that way up, and gave me a lot more room here. Now, like I said, um, I think you'd want to match these two color ramps so that white represents the same elevation value on each one. Um, and you'd probably want to mess around with the low value as well so that it's an apples to apples comparison. Um, but that's in a second video um, that you can look up that is called Make Your Color Ramps Match Value to Value. Um, Okay, you know what, I'm going to experiment with something really quick because there's a second way that you might be able to do this. Okay, so the second way that you might be able to do this is just by ungrouping it. Now the warning here is that before you convert this to a graphic so you can ungroup these things, uh, you want to make sure that you've got this all dialed in. Make sure your fonts are the right boldness and the right size. I don't know how easy it is to go back and change that. So that's just a warning up front because um, I haven't experimented yet. But with this selected, you can right click convert to graphics, and then ungroup it all. And you probably want to go in a couple times and ungroup. I'm not sure how many times you'd need to do that. Um, the color ramp is in two chunks, but you can then just manipulate it this way. You're going to want to be really careful doing this, though, because uh, you need to make sure that you keep these um, you know, somewhat connected. Uh, I have no idea what what is going on down there, but we could probably try and ungroup it again. Ah, there's just some extra thing here. I don't know what that is, but delete it. Fine. So uh, let's actually experiment with that. Now that we've got it converted to graphics, I've got this thing selected, and I can use my draw toolbar. Oh, so you still can. Yeah, so you're not really losing anything. Um, by converting it to a graphic and then handling all these pieces individually. Then you can just go in and get rid of what you want. Um, stuff like that. Okay, um, that's it. Thanks.